What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Electabuzz in ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Electabuzz, this Pokemon fully thrives off the Evil Light, boosting its defense and special defense by 50%. Furthermore, it is a beautiful support Pokemon with Vital Spirit as its ability. If you guys do not know what Vital Spirit does, this Pokemon now cannot fall asleep due to this ability. So if we're going up against Moonguses, all that good stuff, we don't have to worry about Spore happening onto this Pokemon. Electabuzz over here is rocking the Ghost Terror type with Follow Me, Taunt, Volt Switch, and Faint. So again, just here for support, trying to protect these Trick Room Pokemon and really getting after it. Speaking of Trick Room, our restricted Pokemon is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex with As One and a Clear Amulet. Fire Terror type, Glacial Lance, Close Combat, Trick Room Protect. You guys seen this Pokemon plenty of times before. I don't really need to go into too much details talking about this Pokemon. But our final four Pokemon on today's Team Free features Ursaluna, Ferrigraph, Annihilate, and Smeargle. Ursaluna and Ferrigraph, you guys seen a ton. This Annihilate over here with the Choice Scarf, Final Gambit, Close Combat, Shadow Claw, and Coaching. So if you want to coach up Calyrex or any other physical attacker, even though Calyrex is our only other physical attacker, we got Coaching for that. Smear Girls are final Pokemon with own tempo and focus sash. If I can follow me, sport, decorate, and fake out. So we can decorate our special attackers. We can coach up our physical attackers. We got both options on today's team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Electabuzz team. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team in match number one. Now, this team right here has two fake out users, Incineroar and Rillaboom. And honestly, I could go into Annihilate to try to force that Intimidate out onto us. That could be a pretty good play for us, because if I could do that, I get the fine boost it and really thrive out with Annihilate. Or I could just go into Electabuzz. But I'm thinking Electabuzz in the back end could work a little bit better for us, because I can get off Trick Room maybe with Calyrex Annihilate, and then maybe just kind of final gambit take out a pokemon bring out electabuzz and just follow me away and that kind of seems like our best option right i mean i know they have a moongus follow me could definitely help us out with that spore problem and i think this is our best option right i think going into those two is our best option we'll go electabuzz and we will bring ursaluna for late game i definitely like this a lot um we could watch out for the taunts the taunts on like rollaboom could be a problem i know a lot of rollabooms recently have been using taunt so we see real boom, we might just want to final game to dump on it. But we're kind of hoping they just intimidate us turn one. I got clear ammo on the Calyrex. I got Defiant on our Annihilate. And then our Annihilate could really just start getting after it. I can do a lot. I can do a lot here. So I can coach turn one if I want to. Hmm. Let's just see who they go into. We'll make a decision then. Are they going to go real boom and Ogre Punch? Okay, so this is a little rough. This is a little rough. Because real boom can just fake out my... Uh, my Calyrex, which is most likely going to happen. And I could still Final Gambit here. Or I could start coaching up. A few different options here. Definitely a few different options. I mean, they're both physical attacking. So coaching up could be the play here. Hmm. We're going to coach it up. If you fake it out, you fake it out. We're going to go coach up and trick him. It's going to be our play. Let's just start boosting our defense. Let's just start bulking this Pokemon up. Because right now, it is in grassy terrain. So after a few coaches, it's just going to be defensively bulked with this attack boost. We'll get back some nice HP. So he's going to stay with the fake out there. No big deal. You get a crit. That's a little bit of a bigger deal. And coaching's going to fly here. So we coach up. He's now plus one on defense, plus one onto attack. I wonder what Ogre Pun is going for. He's going for a Sword Stance. That's a little scarier. That is definitely a little scarier. Now I can protect and go into like Electabuzz. That could be pretty good. But I think going into this... Uh, I think just going into another coaching here and just popping a trick room is definitely our call. Hands down a call. I know he's going to be plus two on attack, but we're going to be plus two on defense. So this should help us out a little bit here. And again, we're really hoping no taunt is coming in here. Maybe we should have final game at the roll boom. That could have been our play. But, I mean, he still would have got off swords dance, all that good stuff. I think coaching was the play, so I like where we're kind of sitting here. So we're going to see a terror type pop out here. Is this just going to be straight up? Ogre Pond into water? It is. So Ogre Pond's gonna go into water. No big deal. We're really hoping they would just start attacking this uh this annihilate slot. That could be pretty good for us. But he's gonna get that special defense boost. Boost him up just a tad bit. Um you gotta be going for Ivy Cudgel here. We're gonna coach up, get that defense boost. And we'll see what they wanna do. I'm kinda hoping somebody attacks Annihilate. Don't double down to Calyrex. Leave my Calyrex alone. He's gonna go for another Swords Dance. Alright. I might swap into Electabuzz here and just protect. 
I think that's my play. I think we swap it to Electabuzz and just protect. I really do think that's our play because I would love to use this Annihilate later with Final Gambit, right? And the is gonna come out, you're actually the fine boost nip, but we are choice into coaching. So from here, we are just going to protect our Calyrex. And we're gonna go into Electabuzz. I think that's definitely your best option with that Evo Light. I know you're plus four on attack. But I need I need to save this Annihilate. I need to save this Annihilate. I need this Annihilate for later purposes. So yeah, we're definitely gonna hard swap you into you. And we are just going to go into a protect here. Just play it simple. Just play it simple, play it smart. Um, yeah, you are looking scary, Ogre Palm. Plus four Swords Dance now. I'm surprised you Swords Dance again. I thought you would attack that turn, but going for another Swords Dance. It's a real risky play, but it's working out in their favor right now. They got plus two defense. I got plus two attack. Ogre Pond sitting here plus four on attack. This thing can really one shot any of my Pokemon right now. Um, I do have Trick Room out, which is really good for us. Uh, and again, we really just need to save Annihilate, right? We really just need to save Annihilate. This final game, it could clutch up. So we get out our Electabuzz, nice little bulky Pokemon. We protect the Kylox, predicting Fake Out to just fly into the slot. Plus, we'll get some grassy turning HP back. And there's the Fake Out. So we call an R into that. Are you doubling down? I would like for you to double down. I would really like for you to double down. And you are going to double down. We love that. We love that. We love that. We love that. So we double down to Kylox, we protect it. We get out Electabuzz for free. We get back a little bit of HP. Just a tad bit of HP. Now, from here, simple. Just go for follow me. Have all those shots go into that slot. And do I go for a close combat into Ogre Pond? Or do I just take out Incineroar? I got options. I can take out whoever I want. Whoever I please. And I kind of just want to take out Incineroar. Even though Ogre Pond's looking like a big threat. I think my Electabuzz can soak up whatever shot Ogre Pond has to offer. So, I think by going into this, it's definitely our play. We're just going to take out this, uh, this Incineroar. Plus, you might be going for Spike Shield. There it is. There's Spike Shield. So, good call for us. You might just want to waste out Trick Room's turns, which they're doing. We're able to go for a follow me. Follow me don't really matter. We're going to go plus three on attack after we pick up KO here. But our defense is going to drop a little bit. Just a tab it. But Incineroar, get it on out my face. Gone. Gone. See you later. We don't want you here. So we have a few turns left in Trick Room. Um, hmm. We go for another follow me turn, maybe like Glacial Lance. I mean, they're probably going back into Rillaboom, right? Rillaboom is looking a tad bit scary. We gotta see how many turns left in Trick Room. They're gonna go into Calyrex. They most likely are just gonna protect, right? Most likely you're protecting this thing, right? Let's see. Got yeah, two turns left in Trick Room. I think we go for follow me, and then we just terrestrialize you in the fire. I could throw Glacial Lance, but I'm really more, more scared of this thing right here. I still Blood Moon Ursaluna, who's a pretty solid Pokemon up against Calyrex. Um, yeah, I'm just going to close combat Ogre Pond here. Let's just KO it. That's my play. That is my play. I could have Volt Switch Pivot here, but I think we're fine. I think we're doing just fine here. I think we're doing just fine. I think we are doing just fine. So we're going to Thrasilize just so that ghost type move doesn't do big time damage. And he's just protecting Calyrex. No big deal. No big deal because follow me now flies. I'm going to close combat. And I can take out Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond, not a problem anymore. We're even on defense, but we're plus four on attack. And we made him turn off their console. We love it. So they Sword Stance one too many times. Didn't take advantage of their Swords and turns, and we take this win all day. So, nice little rage quit in match number one. To be honest, guys, I forgot we were one win out of Master Tier after we finished off the last video. We are 4-0 in the brand new season, absolutely lighting it up. Looking to go 5-0. Let's make it happen. We're 694 at our rank right now, and we're going up against a pretty cool Origin Palkin team. With Wimscott, Star Raptor, Pelipper, Meow Skarada, and Sizzler. Really dope team. Definitely really dope team. Um, who should I lead here? Frigraph's not bad. We kind of like Frigraph to stop like bullet punches, sucker punches, all that good stuff. Um, we could just go into our same lead of Annihilate and Calyrex. That's not bad because, again, Final Gambit really works well. We could pretty much take out whatever Pokemon we want with 217 HP and then get an Electabuzz behind Calyrex. Maybe just pop a Trick Room 
that's not a bad play for us. And I kind of want to do that, especially with no fake out users on the team. I like that the best. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back into Electabuzz, Buzz, and we're just going to go into Ursaluna here. Same team as last time. I like it. I definitely do like it. But something I forgot to mention in the beginning of today's video, I want you guys to go ahead over to my community tab on my page and vote in the poll for what video I should start working on next, considering we have a top 10 generation nine competitive Pokemon video coming out soon. And I want to know what video you guys want to see next. So we have a little bit of a poll going out on the Jeans channel. Definitely go check it out. Definitely go vote on it. If you guys have any other ideas, leave them in the comment section down below on that post. We'd love to hear your guys' ideas because I want to start doing big videos like at least twice a month now. Maybe even more than that. Maybe once a week, depending on how they do. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go ahead over to my community post. Check it out. We got a few good ideas. Like a competitive rain team. We're well, not competitive rain team. It would be top competitive rain Pokemon video, which is pretty dope. A few other ones. Again, go check it out. Just go check it out. Make make life simple. Make life simple. Go check it out. All right. Second match on its way. Looking for a win here. We are very high in the match here right now. Palkia and Pelipper are, is going to be lead. And now, is that Palkia, like, floating in air? Yeah, yo, look at that thing. Does it normally do that? What's its feet for, then, if it, if it levitates like that? Look at it. Just floating in the air. All right. Whatever. So, Palkia is dragon and water type still, right? Yes. Um... How much HP does it have? That's the real question. Can I final Gambit KO it? It's probably pretty bulky. Um, I'm still gonna try it. I'm still gonna try that. And I'm gonna pop a trick him. I'm hoping that an Annihilate has more HP than that. He's gonna protect. That's fine, I guess. I mean, are you going for a Hurricane in that slot? That could be your play. Coaching could have been a nice play for us. But we're gonna be able to get off Trick him by you protecting. That's fine by me. He's gonna go for a Hurricane in that slot. Can you soak this? You get a crit. Okay, that makes sense. You get a crit. You get a lovely little crit. So crit pops out here. Um, Glacial Lance can still do some nice damage. Uh, Electabuzz is not going to be a bad player for us. We can just go into that. Follow me out. Just start throwing Glacial Lances across the field. Or I could go into Ursa Luna. No, I'd rather just go into Electabuzz here. Electabuzz. This thing does have Wygar, which is a little scary. Right? Wygar is looking terrifying. So we got Trick Room up. Um... To be honest, we are just going to taunt this turn and just protect. I think that's in our best interest. To be honest with you guys. And the reason I say that is because, again, wide guard. Just a problem. I don't want to pop my guards doing ridiculous amount of damage. We're just going to taunt the Pelipper, allow it not to set up wide guard, and kind of go from there. Then we'll see a Terror type pop out here from Palkia? Fire Palkia? Is it Fire Palkia? It's going to be Water Palkia. Pretty good, Palkia. Pretty good Palkia. And we're just going to protect the Calyrex. You going for Wide Guard? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We're not doing Wide Guard. We're just, it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Taunt's going to fly through here. I'm going to stop that right then and there. He's going to go for a Surf. You got Surf. Oh, no. This is looking scary. This is looking scary. You got Surf. We don't like that one. How much damage are you doing? It's a lot of damage. That's a bit too much damage. All right. Um, from here, we're going to go into the Volt Switch Pivot, look to KO Pelipper, and if I can, I mean, I'd rather just go for Glacial Lance. Just pick up some sort of damage, right? He ends up with Joel and Pelipper. Who are you going into? Who you got cooking here? So we know you're going in Surf. Wormscott. Okay, so we can take out Wormscott here. And you're going to protect. That's fine. That's a fine turn for me because now I get out Ursaluna. Cool. Cool, cool. So we're going to pick up a KO onto Wormscott. No problem. He's going to be able to reset to Y guard. The good thing my Calyrex KO is my Calyrex goes plus one now. I might just want to double down to Palkia. Palkia is looking like a big time threat. Oh no, but Volt Switch doesn't pivot. We need a Volt Switch to pivot. Oh man. Really want an Ursuline out there this turn. Really want an Ursuline out there this turn. Alright. They go back into Pelipper. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You go into Pelipper. Um, how many turns left in Trick Room? Two. Two turns left in Trick Room. 
Might as well just let, a, let the buzz die out here. And I'll go for the close combat into Palkia. He withdraws Palkia. Okay. You're going to go into your final Pokemon. Star Raptor. Okay. I mean, I still have Terra, which is nice. He's going to protect Pelipper. That's fine. That's fine. We go for another follow me here. So now, now we have follow me ready to roll. Close combat is going to most likely just pick up a KO here, right? Being plus one. Take it out. See you later. So Raptor going. So Raptor going. He's going to bring out Palkia here, but we're plus two. And I think from here, we just go for faint and we read the Palkia protect waste out trick turns. Right? We hit that thing with a faint. We get rid of its protect. And then we just close combat it. Being plus two. I like that. I do like that. We have Blood Moon Ursaluna still in the back end, which is good. One turn left in Trick Room. They're trying to waste out the Trick Room turns. Rain has one turn left here as well. So I am just going to go for a feint here. I'm going to go for a feint. I'm going to go for a close combat. Just going to push through this Palkia. Just going to push through this Palkia. Go ahead. Show me a protect. You got to be protecting. You have got to be protecting this Palkia. There's no way you're not. Yes, there it is. So there's the protect on the Palkia. They ain't ready for the feint. They ain't ready for the feint. Bop, see you later, protect. Close combat can now fly. And does this pick up KO? Plus two, it's not stab. Picks up the KO. Let's go, Electabuzz. Electabuzz thriving out in today's video. That's going to be 5-0 on the brand new season, guys. Absolutely killing it. Should be top 500 now, no problem. If we pick up this win. Let's see what Pelipper goes for. Pelipper, what you got cooking here? We are low on defense here. He's going to go for a surf. Actually, this is looking a little scary. Okay, Calyrex soaked it. I was going to say, Calyrex minus two on special defense. That could do some nice damage. Rain does stop, which is good news for us. Trick Room is gone. And I can bring out Ursaluna, who I still have Terra for. So we could just Terrestrialize into normal, which could really help us out. And we can do it. Beautiful. So a little bit of normal Terra Blood Moon. And I could just protect you. Could go for Trick Room. Could go for Glacial Lance. Um... I think we just pop Trick Room Plate safe, right? Because I definitely want to win this match. I definitely want to win this match. So we're just going to try to pop a Trick Room if we can. Help us out a little bit. You could be going for a Y Guard, but I doubt it, right? But what would that do for you? Y Guard would do nothing. It would do nothing. You're probably looking to go for a Surf. That's why I went for the Terrasalize of Normal here. And yeah, there's a Surf, which Calyrex should soak now. Awesome. Calyrex soaks. Blood Moon can fly. If you're not Sash, you're dead. And if you are Sash, we have Trick Room to help us out a little bit. Yep, there's your Focus Sash. There is your Focus Sash. So I could have doubled down with Calyrex, but I think I was just trying to play it safe. Just trying to play it safe. So Trick Room back out and about. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be 5-0. and 5-0. Oh. and oh. Love it. Love it. We're just going to go for another Hyper Voice. Actually, can you use Blood Moon twice? I wonder what happens if you click on it. Oh, you just said you can't use it. All right, that's fair. 140 base power. That's absurd. That is absurd. So we're going to go for Hyper Voice. We are going to go for a Glacial Lance. Pelper is just going to protect here. Pelper is just going to protect. And he's seeing us use double hitting moves. So I bet you he tries to go for like a wide guard next turn. Yeah, I got I to gotta put close combat in the mix. I got to put close combat in the mix. Because I think he might want to go for like wide guard <laughs> next turn. <laughs> to block Hyper Voice and Glacial Lance. And then protect the end, but yeah, we're just gonna go into close combat, switch it up. Show me you're going for wide guard. That'd be so funny. I mean, I wouldn't blame him. He's trying to win this game. He's really digging deep here. He's looking for one of the meanest Pelipper's clutches of all time, which would be absurd. But yeah, we're not we're not allowing him to win this. We simply won't go for wide guard. I think it'd be funny if they go for wide guard and we just close combat him. <laughs> go ahead, do it. Yeah, they're thinking a lot here. They really want this win. They really want this win. This, our opponent was like 2,000 in Master Tier. They really want this win. They really want it, but Electabuzz was clutch. And nope, they don't even go into wide guard. They just try attacking. Hyper Voice going to finish this one off. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 5-0. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Moving on to our final battle, we are sitting 436 in the world. 5-0, which is absolutely absurd. Looking for a nice little 6-0 record. To get things started off here in this brand new season. But we're going up against a pretty cool team right here. I mean, they got Overquill. They got Shift Tree alongside with Tornado. So that's probably Windrider, Shift Tree with Kyogre, Smeargle, and last but not least, they do have 
Landris. So something I am scared of is going to be fake out onto the Smeargle, which makes you kind of want to leave Annihilate yet again. But is my Smeargle as fast as it possibly can? I doubt it, right? No, you're a slow Smeargle. You're a slow little Smeargle. But um, who do I want to lead here? I mean, Annihilate Calyrex has been working well for us all day today. And I'm kind of looking for a win, so I kind of want to lead them both. I mean, fake out could pop out here, but I don't mind going into these two. Just being able to final gambit or even coach. Coaching could be really good for us. So I am going to go into both of them. I think that's solid for us. Ursaluna going to be in a spot. And then last but not least, I think we have to go into Smeargle here. I like Smeargle. I like Smeargle. We got Decorate to help us out. Fake out. Follow me. A lot of different options from Smeargle, which we like. So we're bringing in our Smeargle. If they got Smeargle, we're bringing in our Smeargle. But 2-0 in today's video. 5-0 in the brand new season, as you guys just saw. Sitting around 430 ranks. So this would put us in probably top 400, maybe even 300. We'll see. We shall see. Hmm. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I mean, Tornadus, Kyogre, definitely an option. I mean, if they do go into that, we could just final Gambit and really just get rid of them. But I mean, honestly, ooh, I didn't even think if they could just Tailwind Pop. That's, that, that's pretty bad for us. That would be terrible for us. Hopefully, they don't go Tornadus, Kyogre. We might be in a rough spot. I might just have to protect and sacrifice a Pokemon. Maybe Sash up on Smeargle. Yeah, that seems like our best play. And they're going to go Smeargle Kyogre. The Smeargle Kyogre flies out here. Um, I don't mind that because I can just go for Trick Room and go for a uh, go for a Final Gambit here. Which, which is what I'm going to do. I mean, you could honestly... You could honestly just protect Kyogre and, and spore him. But I'm, I'm still gonna, just going to go go after his Kyogre here. But you could go for Follow Me. Yeah, we're going to see a Terra pop out here, and it's going to be following me. And Terra Smeargle, okay. Ghost Terra Smeargle, that's fine by me. Unless you're going for follow me, then that's not fine by me. You might be going for follow me here. Hopefully you're going for fake out. No, you're going for follow me. That's such a smart play. That's such a smart play. This is looking terrifying. This is looking real scary. Final Gambit's going to get nothing. It's not going to affect Smeargle. And you're going for Water Spell, you are. Calyx, can you soak this? Please, thank you. Let's go, Kalex. Okay, so at least we soaked that up. That was just a really good play on his end. To just stop Final Gambit. Really smart play on their end, to be honest. And I still get off Trick Room. So that's actually really good for us. So we get off Trick Room. Um, our best bet is to probably just, like, Terrastalize. Our best bet is to just Terrastalize. What is, what is going on with you? You just keep eject button in and out. Alright, so let's see who they bring out here first. But I was going to say, our best bet is probably just to Terrasalize Earth Luna just start throwing Hyper Voices around. They're going to go straight into Shift Tree, which I don't mind. I mean, Shift Tree does have Fake Out, which is a little tough news on us. But I think just by going into, like, Protect on the Calyrex might be in our best interest. Unless you're just going to Fake Out my Earth Luna. Which, in that case, I might just Double Protect here. Yeah, I might as well just Double Protect. You can add this turn. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to waste out anything because we're looking to win here, and they kind of had the upper hand on us early on here due to that great play they just made. Terra Ghost and follow me. That was really smart reading the final gambit. I feel like final gambit, especially up in this rank, is kind of easier to read. Once you see a it's just like okay, you're probably going final gambit, especially on a trick room team. The fake out flies. Who's it going into? It was going in Ursula. So good thing I did go into double protect because I was just gonna protect the Calyrex. I was just gonna protect the Calyrex. But from here, now we can normal Terra. Um, do we think Shift Tree sashed? It might be, because I might just want to go into a Blood Moon more so than anything. To get rid of Kyogre. Do we think you're sashed? I would think Smeargle would be sashed more so than you. No, Smeargle was a Jack Pack. You're sashed. You are 100% sashed. But I'm still going to go into Blood Moon. With a, with a normal Terra. Let's make sure we normal Terra. We're still just going to go into a Blood Moon here. You are definitely sashed. Do you have Sucker Punch? You might have Sucker Punch. You definitely have Sucker Punch. You definitely have Sucker Punch. Man, our opponent's just playing really good here. This might be the end of the road for us, guys. This might be the end of the road, but out comes our big time Terra with Ursaluna going into a normal Terra. Kyogre could protect here. If it protects our opponent, just wins this game pretty much. Because we have to get rid of this Kyogre right here, right now. It's just doing way too much damage. It really is. So we end up going into a Terra type here, and Blood Moon is going to fly. And no Sucker Punch comes out here, which is good. So Blood Moon probably going to KO this Kyogre, which we love. 
get it on out of here. And fingers crossed for no focus ash. Because if no focus ash pops out here, we're really sitting in a beautiful position. If no focus ash pops here. Come on, no focus ash. It's definitely sash. Yeah, it's sash all day. Get a crit, but I was doing that regardless. The focus ash pops out here. Shift tree probably came with Calyrex, right? Yeah. Probably should on Sucker Punch. Does he even learn Sucker Punch? I feel like he does. I feel like I used Shift Tree before with Sucker Punch. Man, so going for knockoff. The knockoff comes out here, takes out my Calyrex. I'm forced to go into my Smeargy, who's actually decently slow, so I could put anybody to sleep if I want to. Besides Shift Tree, obviously, because it's grass. And he's gonna go into Smeargle of his own. The Smeargle pops out here. Um, to be honest, how many turns left in Trick Room? Two? Two turns left in Trick Room. You might as well smore their, spore their Smeargle, right? I could go into Fake Out, but you can also Fake Out me. You know, let's Fake Out the Shift Tree. Let's play it smart, actually. Because if I Fake Out Shift Tree here, we KO Shift Tree. And if they Fake Out my Smeargle, then Ursaluna can just go for Hyper Voice and we can do some big time damage. I like that. So we're just going to Fake Out the Shift Tree, do that, and chances are they Fake Out Ursaluna here. Or are you going for a Spore, maybe? They're gonna fake me out. See, that's fine. That's fine. So I have Mind's Eye as my ability, so I don't mind using normal moves into these ghost type Pokemon. And of course, this thing's gonna get a special defense boost, which is actually super annoying. A special defense boost is so perfect for him. Now, Overcool comes out here to beat the final Pokemon. Now, I believe this thing might be Swift Swim, but I feel like we have to put somebody to sleep. Now, who do we put to sleep? Smeargle or Overcool? I'll put Smeargle to sleep. I'm just gonna Blood Moon. I can't use it twice in a row. I, I thought that last turn with flinches would count as not a turn, but it's whatever. So we're going to go for sleep on Smeargle, and we're going to pop a Hyper Voice. Because so Overcoil could just protect this turn. Looking for a big time win here. So honestly, our opponent started off hot here, but I really helped us out. So follow me. He's going to fly through here. And Overcoil, what are you doing? Because you're kind of scared me. We're going to sport this Smeargle. Put this bad boy to sleep. See, that's why I wish I could have Blood Moon this turn. We just ripped into him. Hyper Voice gonna fly. How much damage are we doing? Taking out Overcoil. That's gonna be game. We'll go 6 0. 6 0 on the rank ladder. Come on, man. That's way too easy. That's way too easy. That is way too easy. Moody gonna pop out from him. Another 3 0 perfect record. So back to back 3 0 perfect records. This time with this Electabuzz team, which I actually really liked. But for me, I'm just going to decorate. I could just go into a Blood Moon, and they probably just cancel match, right? Yep, battle was canceled. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another 3-0 perfect record on the channel. We're sitting 6-0 in the Master Tier. We are now top 400. We were sitting at like 313, I think it was. Something around there, but top 400, which is crazy. Killing it so far in this brand new season. And Electabuzz was amazing on today's team. User follow me. Taunt, we, we also got to use Faint today, which worked super well up against that Orge Polkia, Taking off Protect and having Calyrex just KO with a close combat. So that was really clutch. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.